Life families, my name is Miss Genesis and all this month we're going to be learning about how we can make good choices. But let's go ahead and get started with worship. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I can't hear you. Yeah! Alright, let's go ahead and get started. No matter how dark night or day, God's love helps me not to be afraid. No matter how high a mountain I see, God's love is bigger and it makes me want to sing. I know. The choices that we make might end up in a reward, which is really, really good, or a consequence, which isn't as good. Let's go ahead and watch our Bible story to see someone who had an important choice to make. Stories of the Bible, Samson and Delilah. This is Samson, hey. who was the last judge of Israel. Samson was very strong and he was supposed to bring God's people victory over their enemies, who were the Philistines. Now Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. Oh, hey there. Hi, hi. And the Philistines came to Delilah. What's going on? And convinced her to find out what the secret to Samson's strength was. They promised her a great amount of money if she could do this. Now you're coming. Hey. Come in. So Delilah said to Samson, please tell me what makes you so strong and what would it take to tie you up securely? Well. Samson replied, if I were tied up with seven new bowstrings that have not yet been dropped, 
I would become as weak as anyone else. You ain't here. So the Philistine rulers brought Delilah seven new bowstrings. <laughs> Look what I have. Go on, try. And she tied Samson up with them. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Hello, Samson. She cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson snapped the bowstrings. Let me at them. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Hey, wait a minute. Afterward, Delilah said to him, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now please tell me how you can be tied up securely. Eh, all right. Samson replied, If I were tied up with brand new ropes that had never been used, I would become as weak as anyone else. <laughs> Let me try. So Delilah took new ropes and tied him up with them. See? Oh, no. And again, Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. What? Where? Let me at him. But again, Samson snapped the ropes from his arms. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Then Delilah said, You've been making fun of me and telling me lies. Now tell me, how can you be tied up securely? All right, I'll tell you. Samson replied, If you were to weave the seven braids of my hair into the fabric on your loom and tighten it with a loom shuttle, I would become as weak as anyone else. <laughs> now we got him. So while he slept, Delilah wove the seven braids of his hair into the fabric. <laughs> Again, she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. Oh, let me at him. But Samson woke up and yanked his hair away from the loom and the fabric. You gotta be kidding me. Then Delilah pouted, How can you tell me I love you when you don't share your secrets with me? Hey, come on. No. You've made fun of me three times now, and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong. She tormented him with her nagging day after day until he was sick to death of it. All right, all right. Finally, Samson shared his secret with her. My hair has never been cut, for I was dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as anyone else. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Delilah realized he had finally told her the truth, you. So she sent for the Philistine rulers. Come back one more time, she said, for he has finally told me his secret. So the Philistine rulers returned. Oh, Samson. Delilah lulled Samson to sleep. Psst. And then she called in a man to shave off the seven locks of his hair. Samson's strength left him. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. <laughs> when he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. Oh, wh what's going on? But he didn't realize the Lord had left him. So the Philistines captured him and took him to prison. Knock, knock. <laughs> Scuppertons' newest game show with your host, Pastor Steve! Hi guys, welcome to Knock Knock. This is a game show that's all about choices. And today, we're gonna have two teams of Scuppets competing in games for the opportunity to move on to play Knock Knock, where they can go home with the grand prize. So, I have one question for you. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, well, let's play. But first, we're going to meet our contestants. So let's go over to the purple team. This is Zara from Scuppeton. Hi. Zara, I would love to know, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, that's easy. My favorite is rainbow sherbet. Oh, I love rainbow sherbet. That's a great flavor. Thanks. Now, let's meet your teammate all the way from the wild woods of Scuppeton. This is Melly. Hi, everybody. Melly, I know that the kids would love to know, what is your favorite animal? That's a tough one, but I think I'd have to say a unicorn. Wow, that's a very interesting animal. 
Well, thank you, Purple Team. You know, just before we meet the blue team, Mr. Announcer Guy, could you please tell us what our contestants are going to be competing for today? I'm glad you asked, Pastor Steve, because our contestants are competing for a lifetime supply of stickers! Wow, that's great! Everyone loves stickers. I love stickers. You love stickers. I bet these guys do too. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. let's move over and meet the blue team. I'm the blue team captain. What? No, you're not. Okay, well, you guys can sort that out later. But for right now, let me introduce to you Winston. Hello, world! Hi. Well, Winston, tell me, what do you think about our grand prize? Oh, well, I want it more than anything I've ever wanted in my whole life. I love I know, I know, me too. Now let's meet Winston's teammate, Hector. Yeah, hi. So Hector, what do you think of the grand prize? Well, it doesn't really seem like a prize to me. Well, all right then. All right, guys, we've met our teams. They're ready to play, so let's get down to it. It's time for YouTube. Woohoo! Each team will be shown the same pattern and given a set of objects to complete the pattern. The team who successfully completes the pattern will move on to Knock Knock. All right, each of our teams have a variety of items in front of them that they can choose to complete the pattern that's under this cover. You know, this game is all about choices. And did you know that every single day, you make many, many choices? And when we make a choice, we can either choose the right thing or we can choose the wrong thing. And that's what our contestants have to do today. They have to choose the right thing to complete the pattern. So, guys, are you ready to play? Yes! All right, here's the pattern. We have blue candies, a red crayon, a blue ball, a red lobster, a blue hat, and hmm, I wonder what should go here. Oh. Guys, make your choice. The red fire truck. Yeah, whatever. All right, purple team, you're gonna go first, so what do you wanna choose to go in the circle? We chose a pink flamingo. Yeah, because we thought it would look nice with yeah. the other things. It does okay, look Okay, nice. great, the pink flamingo. Well, let's see yeah. if you made the right choice. All right. Oh, no. Guys, I'm so sorry, but the pink flamingo was not the right choice. Good try, though, good try. Blue team, what did you choose to complete the pattern? We chose the red fire truck. Yep, it's red like me, see? Red. All right, well, let's see if you made the right choice. So we have blue candies, a red crayon, a blue ball, a red lobster, a blue hat. Now let's see if this was the right choice. Oh, I hope we got it right. Do you think we did, Hector? I mean, do you think we got it right? Well, you just watch and see. Okay, all right. You did it. Did it. You guys did it. Right. You, you did made it. the yeah. right yeah. choice. Yeah. Yeah. You guys could clearly see the pattern. We did it. We did it. Yeah, whatever. Congratulations, guys. Now that you won this round, you move on to play Knock Knock. But remember, both of you can't play, so which one of you is it going to be? You go. You mean it, Hector? Yeah, I don't care. All right, I volunteer! That's great, Winston. Come on, let's play Knock Knock! Yeah! In Knock Knock, one scuppet will have the chance to make the ultimate choice. Behind one door, the grand prize. Behind the other, a pile of dirty socks from Bestos' laundry. Which will they choose? Winston, as I said earlier, this game is all about choices. Will you choose the right thing or will you choose the wrong thing? How do I know what the right choice and what the wrong choices are? Well, God teaches us about right choices and wrong choices in his special book called the Bible. Do you remember the Bible story we learned today about Samson and Delilah? Yep, I learned that one. Yeah, and do you remember that Samson knew exactly what God wanted him to do, but did he do it? No, he didn't. No, Samson had many chances to make the right choice, but he didn't do it. How can I make the right choice? Well, we make the right choice when we choose to do things God's way. And now, Winston, you have to make a choice. 
but I'm going to give you a hint. You see, door number one is the choice to do things God's way. And we learn how to do things God's way by following what he said in his special book, the Bible. Door number two is choosing to do things our own way. That's the choice that Samson made. So Winston, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna do things God's way and go with door number one? Or do things your own way and go to door number two? I choose door number one! Are you sure that you wanna pick door number one, which is doing things God's way? Yes, I'm sure. I know that I could choose my way, but I wanna choose God's way instead. All right, then knock. Door one, knock, knock. What? <laughs> for you, Winston. This is great. Congratulations. You made the right choice. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Now, remember, you can make the right choice, and God will show you what the right choice is. And even if you make a wrong choice, God still loves you, and he'll help you to make the right choice the next time. And I hope that you'll choose to join us here next time on Knock Knock. Who's there? The best game show in Skeptical. Samson was a man in the Bible who had super special strength from God. But God told Samson that he was not allowed to tell anyone that he was strong because of his hair. Now he had so many chances to make the right choice, but he ended up telling Delilah that he was strong because of his hair. Since he made the wrong choice in doing this, he lost his strength and he wasn't strong anymore. This Bible story teaches us that it's not always easy to make the right choice. So how can we make the right choice? We can do this by doing things God's way. We can do this by reading the Bible, which is God's special book for us, and we can pray to God and ask for help when we need to make the right choice. And that brings us to our big idea. It's the big idea. God will help us to make the right choice. So remember, God will always help you make the right choice. But even if you make the wrong choice, God still loves you and he'll help you next time. Now let's go ahead and end this lesson in prayer. So everyone watching, bow your heads and close your eyes. God, thank you so much for promising that you love us so much and you will always help us make the right choices. In those moments where we don't know what to do, remind us that we can ask you for help. We love you so much and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's all keep watching for one more video. This is Knock Knock with Bestos. Hello everybody and welcome to Bestos's, that's me, version of Knock Knock where I ask the questions and you give the answers. If you answer all the questions right, you will get the best prize ever, a Knock Knock Trophy Sticker. Yay! Okay, no time to waste. Let's get going. First question is a practice question. What color is my belly? Choose door number one if you think it's white. Choose door number two if you think it's cotton candy colored. Sure you want door number one? Okay, well then on three, everyone say door one, knock knock! And then you have to knock. You got it? Okay, one, two, three! Door one, knock knock! You're right, congratulations! Now, let's try some about the things we learned today. Here we go! This one is about that guy Samson from the Bible. Here is the question. Did Samson make the right choice or the wrong choice? Choose door number one if you think he made the right choice. Choose door number two 
if you think you made the wrong choice. You think it's door two? Now, on three, everyone say, door two, knock knock. One, two, three. Door two, knock knock. Yay! You were right. Samson made the wrong choice. Okay, now for the next ones. What special book can help us to learn more about making the right choices? Hmm, that's a hard one. Choose door one if you think the book we should use is the Bible. Choose door two if you think the book is the book I wrote called Bezos' Bubblegum Story. What? You all think it's door one? Well, if you're sure, then on three, say door one knock knock. One, bananas, three. Door one knock knock. Oh, you're right, good job. The special book is the Bible. All right, monkeys, this is the last one. If you answer this one right, you will get a prize. If you're ready, let me hear your monkey sounds. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, ah. <laughs> Here's the question. Should we make the right choices or the wrong choices? Choose door one if you think we should make the right choices. Choose door two if you think we should make the wrong choices. You think it's door two? Oh, no, no, you said one. One means one. Okay, you're saying door one. Okay, if you're sure that on three, say door one, knock, knock. One, two, pizza. I mean three. Door one, knock, knock. Yay, you did it. And now you get your knock, knock trophy sticker. You are the knock, knock winner of the day. Now I hope you join me next time for Knock Knock! Who's there? The funnest game show in Scuppertown! Bye, Koala!